So this internet thing still makes life and business complicated, doesn't it? It's all upside down, inside out, counterintuitive, confusing. So what the hell do you do? Well, I think you go to the one company that has figured out the internet, the one that succeeded, the fastest growing company in the history of the world, Google. And you ask, what would Google do? I'm Jeff Jarvis, author of What Would Google Do? And what I try to do in the book is reverse engineer the success of Google and try to find out the lessons and the laws that have made Google so successful in this new era. Some of these lessons and laws that I see in Google are that you need to be a platform and help people build things on top of you. You need to make mistakes well. You need to make things actually half-baked and learn as your people use them. You need to listen really well. You need to understand that your worst customer may be your best friend and you have to build a new relationship with your customers. So we'll take these lessons and apply them to all kinds of companies. It's not just about technology. It's about any company, any institution in society. So what would a Google car company look like besides being filled with you know, solar batteries and things? Maybe a Google car company would be a lot more collaborative. Maybe they'd want us to help them design cars and sell them and figure them out. Maybe they'd be a lot more interesting than we have now. What would a Google restaurant be like? I think we'd all be voting what should be on the menu. What would a Google university be like? We probably wouldn't be stuck going to one quad and campus. We'd take courses from anywhere in this great linked world of Google. What would Google insurance be like? Then maybe that would finally even work. I write about this on my blog at buzzmachine.com where I've explored a lot of the ideas for this book. And I found there's universal appeal for this. I've gone to conferences like Davos and talked about these ideas with CEOs. And they're all wondering the same thing. What would Google do? So we'll explore that together. Right now on the blog, in the book itself, and in a discussion afterwards. And I hope we have a community of people who try to figure this out and try to look at the world differently. So this isn't about thinking like a geek. It's about thinking differently. We all need to ask, what would Google do?